The Mull of Kintyre was immortalised by Paul McCartney in his famous song. He also has a farm in the area. A memorial to his late wife Linda is to be found next to the museum in Campbelltown. This was originally Macdonald territory, whose main stronghold was at Dunaverty Castle near Southend. During the Wars of the Covenant, the Scottish Civil Wars, the Macdonalds held the castle for King Charles and Montrose. In 1647 it was besieged by General Leslie and the Covenanting Army, and after a fierce battle the occupants surrendered, believing they would receive some harsh but fair treatment. Unfortunately, every man, woman and child, amounting to nearly 300, were murdered and the castle demolished. The site these days marks the end of the Kintyre Way. In the village of Southend, the Argyle Arms Hotel has been an inn for many a year and these days combines the role of post office with its more usual offering of bar meals and drink as well as accommodation in its three ensuite rooms. A focal point and a great place to meet and greet the locals over a relaxing drink or even be based for a few days. The food is freshly prepared and available from noon till eight, seven days a week. One of the owners originally hails from Campbelltown, returning after a number of years working down south. A few doors along is the small studio gallery of Lynx View. This is a working studio with the artist in residence. Watch her paint and browse the original watercolours and oils, including local land and seascapes, as well as portraits and still life. Leave Southend and you pass Keel House, of which only the Port Cochere remains, built in 1870 for the wealthy banker J. N. Fleming, a director of the City of Glasgow Bank, which caused an absolute sensation when it went bankrupt in 1878. All the directors were arrested and charged with fraud and imprisoned. It seems our recent banking crisis is not without precedence. Keel became a boys' school, meeting its fate in a destructive fire. Nearby, above a medieval chapel on a rocky outcrop, are St Columba's footprints. Legend has it that this was the landing place of the saint when arriving from Ireland in 563 AD. Nearby, Ormsery Farm offers ensuite farmhouse B&B, as well as a detached four-bedroom self-catering bungalow. This 200-acre working farm has been offering accommodation for over 30 years and is located on the final stages of the Kintyre Way. Near the old abandoned township of Balmavicar stand a couple of memorials high above the 300-foot cliffs. The first lists the 29 names of the Northern Ireland Government Intelligence personnel who were aboard an RAF Chinook helicopter. The other happened in October 1956 when a Neptune of No. 36 Bomber Squadron crashed into the clifftop, killing all nine personnel on board. Much of the twisted metal remains are still lying scattered around the site of the crash. A rewarding path leads to the lighthouse, one of Stevenson's, dating back to the 1760s, from which the most amazing sunsets can be witnessed. <laughs>